Hi there and welcome to our next video which is a continuation on the exam questions on module 3 infection and response. So our first exam question states white blood cells protect the body against pathogens such as bacteria and viruses. Pathogens make us feel ill give one reason why. Well pathogens can reproduce in the body and some release toxins so we know that bacteria releases toxins and viruses reproduce in the body and that's how the pathogens make us feel ill one mark white blood cells produce antibodies this is one way white blood cells protect us against pathogens give two other ways that white blood cells protect us against pathogens so we know that one way is by producing the antibodies another way is by engulfing and ingesting the pathogens and Another way that it can protect us against the pathogen is by releasing antitoxins. Okay, and that will get you two marks for those two answers. Okay, vaccination can protect us from the diseases pathogens cause. One type of virus causes measles. A doctor vaccinates a child against measles. What does the doctor inject into the child to make the child immune to measles? And it's worth two marks. Well, to uh, for him to make it immune to measles, it's either dead or weakened form of the pathogen, which stimulates the white blood cells to produce antibodies and that will get you two marks okay a few weeks after vaccination the child becomes infected with the measles virus from another person the graph shows the number of measles antibodies in the child's blood from before the vaccination until after the infection and there we have the graph the number of measles antibodies in the blood over here at this point he got the vaccination at this point he got the infection okay more measles antibodies are produced after the infection than after the vaccination describe what other differences in the antibody production after infection compared with after the vaccination so we know already that the antibodies produced after the infection are um are higher then after the vaccination okay but if we look at the time gap after the vaccination it took this long to produce this many antibodies after the infection it took this long to produce this many antibodies so it's worth three marks this question so what we could write is that more antibodies were produced in a short amount of time so more antibodies so more antibodies were produced in a short amount of time that's what we know so far okay because the time difference over there and more antibodies were produced okay after the vaccination the antibodies were produced were smaller than after the infection and this is because you need to explain why this happens is because the memory cells have already fought 
against the pathogen and can make the antibodies much faster and can make the antibodies much faster okay and that will get you three marks okay vaccination against the measles virus will not protect the child against the rubella virus why is this well antibodies are specific to their antigens the measles virus will have the dead or weakened form of the measles pathogen the rubella pathogen will have uh, sorry the rubella vaccine will have the dead or inactive forms of the rubella virus and that's why it will not protect the child against the rubella virus and the reason for this is the pathogen is different so different antibodies will be produced you could have also added that different pathogens have different antigens okay and any of those will get you one mark okay what is the advantage of vaccinating a large proportion of the population against measles well if you vaccinate a large proportion of the population well the transmission of the virus will be lower the transmission of the virus will be lower okay and that will get you one mark okay final question now use words from the box to complete the sentences about curing disease the substances made by white blood cells to kill pathogens are called what the substances made by the white blood cells to counteract the poisons produced by the pathogens are called what medicines which kill bacteria are called what for three marks so the substances produced are obviously the antibodies you can write that down the antibodies the substances made by the white blood cells to counteract the poisons produced by the pathogen is obviously the antitoxins and medicines which kill the bacteria are called antibiotics okay and that will get you three marks okay and that is it for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it and one last thing please subscribe hit the like button and the notification bell